But he said open the main door. So I gotta trust I was gonna save him too. So yeah, I wasn't certain. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. And you have drunk idiot. You've heard yourself a... I know you don't. What? Lost your nerve? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying sick! Think your drunk ass can match a witcher? Huh? Let's see if this doesn't so way off! We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you were a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. Yeah, She'd whatever. ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. She pretty much put you on the spine. Life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Perhaps I should cut your head off. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I've been to soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Well, that's kind of your own fucking fault. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Perhaps. 
Well, since he passed out, perhaps his wife died then and there. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. You deserve that I and much more. Out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, oh, the fell cost in carriage, blood probably. Everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. Yeah. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Yep. It's pretty much all your fault. I have no sympathy for you, by the way. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. And you... And you killed them. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. That makes two of us. Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? I think you need to have the details of what exactly you created, just so you can feel extra bad. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Hmm. Might just do that. Not for you, but for it. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. If we can transform it into a guardian spirit, it could also be very protective of his family. 
We might be locking in Chilson. A bit further. Follow me. You hurry along. Can you give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Huh. Ruined part of the village. Excellent place to hide things. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. I will not relent. The graves dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Look! Hey, look what you created! It's an unhealthy undead girl! It's actually kinda adorable. Because Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll comb it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Actually, I feel kind of sorry for the thing. I prefer to help it rather than kill it. Merciful gods! And it is kind of adorable. In a sort of a goblin-esque way. Perhaps it can find peace. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends and change it into a lubricant. Um, let me just quickly read up on how this thing works again. Oh, fuck. Give it a hug, you spawn, aren't you? Show me you actually regret what you've done. Also, if it turns into a protective spirit, it might still kill you because of what you've done. Time you fly into a rage and try to strike somebody, you shouldn't. He'll throw you down a flight of stairs. Oh, no. More coming. Need to hurry. On with it. Put up. Spectres, come over here. Come 
Ow. Come on, hands on my magic circle. Squirming again? Like a daft eel? I cannot hold it! I'm good for kids. <laughs> Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's, it's a girl. <laughs> what would Anu have named her? Isn't that a good question? <laughs> now can we make it over here without being assaulted again by your little girl's crazy band of friends?